Ambrose. If you're a visitor this morning, we extend a special welcome as together we celebrate the 30th Sunday of Ordinary Time. To begin our celebration this morning, we number 737. God is here. Number 737. Please stand.
Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity. Make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and the erring, for he himself is beset by weakness. And so, for this reason, we must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes his honor upon himself, but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming our priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Priests are ordained in the line of Melchizedek. 
But if we read really what Hebrews is saying too, it's like the priest offers the prayers for the people, but the priest doesn't do that apart from the people. Because the priest is in need of those as much as the people are. Because the priest, guess what, is not perfect. Oh, how well you know that. You know, how well you know that. So that the priest, while he's offering prayers for the people, and I do that, it's not just for you. I have to do it for me too. Because I need, as the priest here, I need to be offering prayers for myself. In the line of Melchizedek. So I can be faithful to what God has ordained me to do. What is it you want me to do? Simple question Jesus asked Bartimaeus in the gospel. What is it you want me to do? And he says, being blind man, I want to see. And we say, no kidding. No, that just makes sense. But it's to see more than just visibly see. What if we ask, Jesus asks us, what is it you want me to do? Oh, we have a long wonder list of things we'd like Jesus to do. But maybe if we started out with the same request that Bartimaeus did, a lot of the other things on our list would go away. Lord, help me to see. Because even though we may have 20-20 vision or with the help of these spectacles, have 20-20 vision, we don't always see through the eyes of faith. We're more content and sometimes happy to see through the eyes of the world that sometimes is not seeing through the eyes of faith. And it's when we do that that we can become blinded. When our hearts can be hardened. When we really need Jesus to heal us. And that's what he does. He heals us. In a world today that sees things, everything in black and white, yes or no, good or bad, red or blue, a divine world that can be so angry, be so uncivil, be so nasty, we all need to ask God to help us to see through the eyes of faith. And that's why we come here. That's why this is so important. Because that stuff out there is not part of the gospel so many times. And we need to come here to be refreshed, to be renewed by the message of hope that comes to us from the gospel, that comes to us from the faith, that we all are celebrating here in the line of Melchizedek when we offer this Eucharist. And it helps us see. Helps us see through the sin of the world. Through that stuff that can be so enticing, so alluring, but leads us so much in the darkness that we don't know it until we're there. Lord, help us to see your way. Help us to see you in the world. Help us to know you are with us. You are near us. And as the pastor here, I'm going to tell you a couple ways. You help me see God. Look at the collection in the parish center. The collection of toys and activities that we have collected over these last weeks for the Afghan children that camp out of here. Already a load has been taken up. Loads are starting to form again. When we see that, do we see division? Do we see anger? Do we see malice and nastiness? What do we see? We see God. That's how God shows himself to us. And things like that. We see God. That's the vision we need to have clear. You know, the missalettes, something as simple as the missalettes, the, the books, the Word and Eucharist books we're going to be using starting here the first Sunday of Advent, you've already paid for them. After two weeks, they're paid for. Now, if you want to continue to make a contribution to that, because you want your, your 
your name in honor or memory of somebody in the book. We will do that. We will do that. But no, but there again, that simple little request that's going to help us pray well, pray better in our, in our time together, is taken care of. It's taken care of. Now, when we hear that, do we hear division? Do we hear anger? Do we hear maliciousness? No. We hear God. We see God. Just like we hear God coming out of the cry room right now. Yes. <laughs> but, but that's what it is, you know? This Respect Life Month, that's what we come here for. That's why we need to come here. So we don't forget. Because we can get so sucked into all that stuff out there. We forget who we are. And what God is calling us to be. As his people. Lord, I want to see. Help me to see. And you know, even in the United Catholic Appeal, we've been talking about it. I don't know if you got your goodies, but I did. And we'll get them if you didn't. You know, with the brochure that explains it and the intention card that we'll be collecting in a couple weeks. You know, if you think about that, and this is any kind of sacrifice we make to give to that, we know it goes to support the ongoing religious education in the diocese, whether it's in our schools or in our faith formation program. Emiliano was up here last week. Thank us, because it goes to help the support, ongoing support of the seminarians. While the sheets is here, it goes to support the retired priests. It goes to support all the agencies throughout the diocese that are supported by the Catholic Charities, from St. Elizabeth Home in Albany and Indianapolis, to all the food pantries they, they, they serve, to the, to the place up there at the Catholic Center in the Xavier Building. If you've ever been in there, it's where they have, where they're always distributing food and clothes, where they have their Christmas store. All of that is supported from the United Catholic Appeal. You know what their slogan is this year, what their theme is? United in the Eucharist. This is where it all comes together. This is where we all stay united. This is where we are able to hear the word of God and to see his face in each other and in the work we're able to do. Lord, I want to see. We need to open our eyes right now here among us and we will see God. And if that makes us feel good, good. We need to be able to feel good and to feel pleased and happy about what we're doing, what God is calling us to do. Because that's what it means to be church. That's what it means to be a voice that cries out, to be a light in the world that sometimes is dark. I am a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. I offer prayers here every day for all of us and for me, because I need them. But by virtue of our baptism, we are all baptized into the priesthood of believers. You may not be the one standing back up here, but by virtue of our baptism and our baptism into the priesthood of believers, we're all called to preach, to teach, to serve, to love God by what we say and do. And the world needs to see that. Just like we need to see it. But the world needs to see it. Lord, help me to see. Let that be our prayer. Lord, help us to see you in my neighbor. You in my words and my deeds. You in my church. You in the Eucharist. Lord, help me to see you in me. Let us humbly but proudly profess what we believe. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and all things visible and invisible. I believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God of Son of God, Lord and Father for all days. God and God, life and life, true God and true God, may God and God be a concentration of the Father.
God's wisdom. We pray to the Lord. For all world leaders, may their eyes be open to the plight of their people. We pray to the Lord. For our parish family, may our eyes be open to God's will and may our hands respond with willingness to serve. We pray to the Lord. For those discerning vocations, May their eyes be open to God's guidance and desires. We pray to the Lord. Lord, For those who are sick and those who take care of them, may their eyes be open to God's healing powers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, For those who have died, especially Joan Quanti, may their eyes be open to the heavenly garden. We pray to the Lord. Lord, For the prayers in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Good and loving God, source of all our blessings, help us always to appreciate your goodness in our lives. Help us to see your hand in all that we say and do. This we pray through Christ. Saints, we bless you, 
as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Oh, 
continue to do our uh, collection uh, at Catholic Charities at Camp Atterbury uh, for the next couple of weekends. So they'll still be out there if you want to bring stuff for that. Uh, the, the envelope money wall is still up uh, to help uh, make contributions towards the youth that are going to NCYC. Uh, over half the envelopes are gone, but uh, I encourage you to take one and, and just return it with the amount on the envelope and it goes to help offset the costs for NCYC. Also, next week on November 1st, which is the Feast of All Saints Day, typically a holy day of obligation. The obligation is lifted that day because it falls on a Monday, but I will have Mass on November 1st at 8.45 for the school kids and anyone else, and then I'll also have Mass that evening at 5.30. Okay, for all saints. And then on All Souls Day, the next day, November 2nd, uh, at our 5.30 Mass, we'll remember all of our parishioners, all the souls who have gone home to God over the past two years, because we really weren't able to do it because of COVID last year. So we'll remember them at that Mass on November the 2nd. Okay? And everyone's a Bible comes. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God.